Hello everybody and welcome back to the Excessive Gaming Channel and Farming Simulator 2017. This is our Let's Play series here on Lawfolds and today we are up to episode number 17 so if you could quickly drop us a like it would be much appreciated and of course if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. So let's jump into today episode number 17 what are we doing? Well we are heading for the uh, Fast Track, JCB Fast Track. This is the 3200. Jump on into there. Start it up. And uh, yeah, what we're going to do today is do a little bit of uh, slurry spreading today. Not something we usually do, but uh, fields need fertilising. Just having a look. As you can see, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 are all planted up. And they all need fertilising, of course. So I'm hoping we're going to have enough uh, slurry from the pigs. It's half past four in the afternoon, uh, late spring. And yeah, we're just picking up the uh, Garen uh, slurry spreader. I've got a little bit in here where we've used it previously. All we need to do is just come to the slurry fill point. Got 58,000 litres in there. It's only 7% full. So we've got plenty in there. But we'll fill this right up because it'll soon uh, drain through. I'm not sure how many fields we'll get done with this. But uh, like I say, we'll make a start. Get this uh, up to the field. Not an incredibly wide spread either. Maybe we could have gone a little bit wider, but not much. So we will be uh, backwards and forwards a few times with this one. So what this is doing is putting that uh, slurry on the liquid fertiliser. Or a liquid fertiliser, should I say. It's not actually liquid fertiliser. And uh, that will, of course, fertilise the crops. We'll get as much done as we can with what we've got in. Like I say, we will have to fill up a few times. I dare say we may uh, miss some as well, but not to worry because we can, of course, uh, put more fertilizer on later on. Got a limited uh, supply like this, it uh, just confirms why you don't want to overlap. But, like I say, you get the idea with uh, what we are doing.
only thing with uh, fertilising, of course, slurry like this is the fact that you can't uh, you can't get the uh, width of the uh, spreader right every time. Yeah, okay, I think we've just run out now. Yeah, so that's automatically shut off because it's run out. So we need to, of course, go and fill up once again. Back down to slurry pit. Get that all uh, loaded up. We can get a uh, half decent screenshot here somewhere. That will do us for the time being. Back up to the field once again, and then we'll finish off, carry on where we was, of course. Well, let's just start the engine. Engine's just giving up. This is uh, in need of maintenance. Oh, come on. So we're getting uh, done slowly. The uh, tractor decides it wants to keep breaking down, stalling the engine. We may need to uh, get that fixed at some point. I say we may, but we we definitely will. Uh, <coughs> too much of this field done. It's, like I say, it's, it's a huge field. Yeah, I've got this one planted up with corn, of course. Joys of uh, doing fertilising and slurry spreading. Not something we do particularly often, the slurry, but it uh, means we've got a pig farm. That is what we are aiming or completely achieving on this uh, series. We are uh, 
like I say, running a pig farm. We need to fill up again here, we're not going to have enough to go back again. So what we're going to do is just finish off this uh, headland up here. See, but not to worry. I'd say once again we'll head back. In fact, what we'll do, yeah, we'll get this uh, filled up, and then we can quickly get the tractor repaired. say repaired but uh, maintained. That's our 8,000 litres again. Excuse me, what we're going to do this time is just come up to the back of our workshop and our garage. Shut that off there. Somewhere in here we've got a toolbox. There it is. Let's pick that up, bring it over to the uh, tractor, and then we can, of course, repair the machine. £336 is what it's costing us. That is that job done, we can lift that up, chuck that back into the uh, workshop. And there we go. That is now, <coughs> excuse me, that is now maintained for another 30 engine hours, or 12 in-game days of course. So we're going to leave that bit there for a moment come up to uh, this end, start doing some of this and see how much uh, we're going to have left in between. any at this end. top of these fields up here really gives you a sense of how big the fields are on these farms. So making some progress is of course a uh, long-winded job but I'm 
unfortunately it is one that needs doing. We want to make these fields as productive as possible. Of course the good thing is the slurry that we're using is completely free of course. It's not cost us anything to purchase. It is a product that the pigs have produced for us. left. I'm not sure <coughs> that we're going to get enough to do this row, I don't think we are. Indeed we are not, there we go. So, back off to fill up once again. farm, back to the pigs, and to the slurry refill point of course. Fill that back up, another 8,000 litres going in. So, that is that just done. And as we head back to the field, still on our road to a thousand subscribers and we would very much like to see the you uh, have enjoyed today's video as well so if you have enjoyed remember to drop us a like don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new it is uh, beneficial to both parties yourself and us For our benefit, like I say, it does help the channel grow. <coughs> we are, of course, on that uh, road to a thousand subscribers. I think at the last count, like I say, we was at about 220 or so. So, yeah, we are growing nice and steadily. course it is beneficial for you guys you, if you've got notifications turned on when you hit that subscribe button it will uh, send you a notification when we release videos and if you don't turn notifications on it's no real problem it's up to you if you want those notifications or not but of course uh, what it also does for you guys is allows you to find it again in the future We do, of course, release daily farm simulator content, Monday to Friday. Uh, usually over the weekends it's our family time, so uh, we tend not to do too much uh, in-depth videos, unless we can record any in the week and then schedule the uploads for the weekend, of course. Uh, various links in the description that you can do to uh, or use to support the channel with. One of the uh, important ones on there is liking us on Facebook. If of course you uh, haven't already done so, head on over to at Excessive Gaming Channel. And like I say, the link is in the description. And uh, 
Remember to drop us a like on there as well. <coughs> Keep yourself up to date for when we are either live streaming or if there's any problems or if we're going to start a discussion, etc. All the uh, bits and pieces end up on Facebook, of course. So remember to like us on there as well. So it's uh, five past six in the uh, evening, late spring, of course. We are doing the slurry. run out again. Not too sure how many more trips this is going to take. The, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, fast track 3200 is doing a sterling job. and forwards of course it's another 8,000 litres in there I think we're getting a good couple of <coughs> excuse me, a good couple of rows done at a time. Obviously as the field gets uh, wider it's obviously taking more per row. wider as the uh, length of each run. Obviously the smaller the runs the more rows you're getting. Off we go again with another row. There is of course only so much uh, commentary you can actually do on these types of videos. No, uh, some people say just do it as a time lapse but uh, not everybody enjoys time lapses. I know it does uh, do the uh, job quite well. If you'd prefer this to be a time lapse rather than actually doing the job, drop your comments down below. Let us know in the comment section what you think. So I'm sure there is going to be many more occasions that these types of jobs come up. And then again, it's the same as harvesting. Some people say that the harvesting should not be done unless you're doing it in the time lapse. It's all down to preference. Some people enjoy watching the time lapses, some people don't. So this should run out halfway up this row.
not even halfway. <laughs> Blimey. forwards with this one today. Filled up once again. Hopefully uh, yeah, we're down to 2% full in there. And 1%. So hopefully our piggies will soon be producing a lot more. We've got, what, 12,300 and 46 litres left in the uh, slurry pit 8,000 litres in the tanker tanker, would you call it, or a bowser? interesting, we'll just say tank Again. So we should just have enough to do this field. be one field completely done with the same type of uh, fertiliser of course again we can put other fertilisers on it's not uh, the end of the world of course if a job is worth doing he's worth doing right In theory, there should be one more row coming back. And then of course that will be today done. places not to worry of course like I said if we've missed anything it will of course be picked up on the next uh, run of fertiliser uh, I believe we've got the sprayer as well that can uh, do the job is left in here we might as well use it all up Filled 
28. All done. Like I said, there's a few bits that we've missed. But uh, we can quickly get this uh, put away. Not that it was actually put away, but uh, let's uh, get it put up here for now. Like I say, there's still that uh, lag around the farm. So we'll get this parked up. Shut all that off. And that is that job done. So, like I said, I think that is going to be it for today. We'll just quickly uh, run down to the pigs. But uh, today, episode number 17, we have got the slurry done. Here are the pigs, of course. We've got... Uh, I think it was 12,000 litres of slurry left in there, yeah. So we can get that, hopefully get that topped up again. We've got uh, a big pile of manure there. And the pigs, of course, have made a mess. We'll have a quick look at that animal menu. Just there. They're not too bad, actually. We have 64 pigs now. They're producing, reproducing every six hours. So that's not too bad. We are producing quickly. But, uh, yeah, we are making some good progress with the farm, of course. But anyway, that is going to be it for today. Hopefully you have enjoyed. If you have, remember to drop us a like. And, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new, of course. But like I say, that's going to be it. Thank you very much for watching today. And we shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.